So you're wondering which game engine is better, Unity or Unreal. You want to learn game development and you're wondering which engine should you choose. If you pick the wrong engine, you'll waste your time and then you'll need to start all over. Now right off the bat, I'm going to tell you, given the fact how Brackies quit making Unity tutorials after 8 years, tells you how awful the Unity engine is. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Or am I? Anyways, let's dive into a deep analysis of the main features of every engine you'll use during your game development journey and compare them to see which engine is better for a beginner game developer. Starting with coding, which is the most important part, as that is where you'll spend your time the most, Unity uses C Sharp while Unreal Engine uses C++. Now, right off the bat, I'm going to say that C Sharp is easier to learn for a beginner, especially someone who has never written a single line of code before. The syntax is easier and C Sharp, along with Unity, does pretty much all the work behind the scenes for you. Which means you don't have to worry about garbage collection that affect the memory and performance of your game and so on, because in C++, there are pointers, that you need to get rid of when you stop using them, which can cause significant memory leaks that can hurt your game. Now, that being said, it doesn't mean that C++ is a bad language. In fact, while it is a little harder to learn C++ than C Sharp for a complete beginner, it might actually be smarter to pick it as the first language. The reason why is exactly the difficulty we're talking about. Because when you learn C++, it will be much easier to learn any other language after it, including C Sharp. Plus, if you plan to work in the game development industry, most big game studios either use Unreal Engine or they have their own custom engine which uses C++ as a programming language. This doesn't mean you can't learn C++ after you learn C Sharp, but tackling the harder part first makes everything after it much easier. All in all, both languages are object-oriented, so the concepts of how both languages work are the same. There's just the minor syntax difference between them. Moving on to visual code. For those of you who don't want to get your hands messy with writing code from the very start, you can use visual code to create games. For a long time, Unreal Engine was a pioneer in this field with its blueprint system, which consists of nodes that you connect together to perform a certain action in your game. These nodes are visual coding blocks. It's basically the same code you would type using C++, but presented in a visual state. Because Unity was lagging heavily on the visual coding part, they bought Bolt, a plugin developed by studio called Ludic, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right, and they made it available for free in all Unity versions, which means the battlefield is now leveled. Now the big question is, which one should you choose? And the answer is either of the two. They work and look pretty much the same. You move the nodes around and connect them together to perform operations. The name of each node is the same as its coding part. So for example, if you want to move the player, you will call the move node. Same as how you would call the move function vi code. Can you learn to code with visual coding? The answer is yes, but you learn visual coding. It's exactly the same as written code, but it will give you an idea how written code works. Because as I already mentioned, the nodes are visual representations of the written code. Plus the same coding principles apply to visual as well as written code. So for someone who is afraid of starting with coding from the beginning, you can start with visual code and when you get comfortable with it, move on to written code. And if you're wondering, can you create a full game just with visual code? The answer is yes, you can. But it is better to combine visual code with written code for better performance of the game. And also some features of the game where you need more control are better done with the written code than visual code. Next up, we have the interface. And for some reason, Every video talking about Unity versus Unreal compares their interface as that is one of the reasons why you should pick one engine over the other. I'm going to make this step easy. The interface of both engines doesn't matter at all. First of all, they are similar. You have the project tab in Unity or content tab in Unreal where all your game assets are sorted. You have the hierarchy tab in Unity or world outline in Unreal where you can see all the game elements placed in the game scene. 
there's the inspector tab in Unity or details tab in Unreal where you can see details of a selected game element from the game scene. And there is the scene tab in Unity or scene view in Unreal where you see how your game looks like. Pretty much the same functionalities, only the names are different. You can also rearrange the tabs in the engine editor however you want. So when it comes to interface of both engines, they are similar, if not the same. And after one day of using either of the engines, you'll get used to its interface. Now we come to the juicy part, how hard it is to learn Unity or Unreal. I must admit that Unity has way more tutorials and guides than Unreal Engine. For some reason, very few people cover Unreal Engine anywhere online, me being one of the few people. It's also rare to see C++ tutorials for Unreal Engine, which is one of the reasons why I focused on that a lot in my Game Dev Pro. One of the things that I find funny people always mention is the documentation for both engines. It's like one of the arguments why Unity is easier to learn, and that is because its documentation is better. Now, let me tell you right away, you will never learn a game engine based on its documentation. Because in the documentation, you'll only find raw explanations with or without basic examples of a certain functionality you're looking up. For example, if you want to see what vector three move towards function does, in the documentation, it will say it moves a vector from point A to point B, and below you'll see a simple example. Not very helpful when you are a beginner, but it is useful when you get a grasp of the engine and you know how to use its language. And by that time, you'll just use the documentation as a reference. So the main thing when it comes to learning any engine is the amount of tutorials, blogs, and books you can find. And in this case, there are more tutorials for Unity than Unreal. But don't let that discourage you as there are still resources to learn Unreal Engine. My YouTube channel is one of them where you have multiple videos covering basic and advanced features of Unreal Engine with Blueprints and C++. Ah, now we have the soul of the rivalry between Unity and Unreal Engine. Most of the time, when you see a comparison between the two engines, the main comparison is between the graphics they produce. Unreal has got to the point where it's rendering ultra hyper realistic scenes that you can differentiate between real life scenarios and virtual scenarios. I mean, look at the meta humans Unreal Engine created. It looks insane. You can't tell the difference between a real person and a meta human. Unity is not that far away. Historically, over the years, Unity was way behind Unreal Engine when it comes to graphics. But over the years, Unity introduced their own powerful tools that made their graphics rendering system insane. So much that it also got to the point where you can't differentiate a scene made in Unity versus a scene from a real life scenario. And Unity's latest demo enemies is a practical representation of that. The woman in the scene looks so real, you can't tell if it's a real human or a 3D character, basically. Now, that being said, you should not care for any of that. Because if you plan to create a game by yourself, you'll not create anything where you would need any of those advanced rendering features. So your plans to create a new GTA game are not gonna come true. Sorry to bring it up here. To create something like that takes a lot of time and resources, which indie game developers don't have. The games you can create on your own will not require any of those features. And besides, if you compare games created in Unity and Unreal, even advanced ones, it will be hard to tell the difference which game is created with which engine. This is more a concern for big game studios that have a team of people working on the graphics part of the game, and they'll be able to utilize the full potential of the rendering pipelines of both engines. All in all, graphics should not be a parameter you need to take into consideration when choosing between Unity or Unreal Engine. Now we're getting to the main part which is creating a game with the engine. Generally, all comparisons between Unity and Unreal you'll see will say Unreal is better for 3D and Unity is better for 2D. While that might be true if you are a AAA game studio, it isn't necessarily the same for an indie developer. The reason is simple. Any type of game you want to create, you can create it with either Unity or Unreal. 
That being said, Unreal does have a lot of built-in tools that are native to Unreal and doesn't require additional plugins. And these tools are very helpful when it comes to 3D game development. As far as 2D goes, Unreal has its paper 2D framework, but as far as I can tell, they either stop supporting it or they plan to stop supporting it. So for 2D, Unity is definitely the way to go. Unity also has a lot of built-in tools for 2D framework you can use. In the end, we can say while Unreal has a better workflow for 3D games, an indie game developer can create the same 3D game in both Unity or Unreal. As far as 2D goes, Unity is the dominant engine here. Next up, we have plugins. This is one of my favorite things when it comes to game engines. As I already mentioned, for 3D games, Unreal has a lot of built-in functionality you can use to make your games better. Things like making your graphics better, adding stunning particle effects, and so on. Of course, there's also the Unreal Marketplace, where you can find a ton of other plugins. However, I must say, Unity has the upper hand here. Because on the Unity Asset Store, you'll find way more plugins that will help you create better games much faster. And if you're wondering why am I even mentioning plugins in this debate, simply because if you plan to create a game, you need to think ahead and plan how to save time and money while developing the game. Especially if you're creating a bigger game that has a storyline, quests, missions, boss fights, and so on. It's always better to buy some of those systems and implement them in your game than coding them on your own. The reason is because it will take a lot of time to create anything decent from scratch. Time that you need to save because the more it takes you to create your game, the less revenue you'll earn. And for those of you thinking it's cheating to use third party assets to create your game, get a life boomer. Now we're getting to the best part, getting a job in a game studio. If that is your goal, then what I'm about to say will shock you. Because if you plan to get a job in a game studio, there are some things to take into consideration. First, if there's some particular studio you like, I suggest you look them up and see which engine they use to create their games. If it's Unity, then learn Unity. If it's Unreal, then learn Unreal. One thing to keep in mind is there are game studios that don't use Unity or Unreal. Instead, they have their own engine, and most of the time that engine will be similar to Unreal. If no other similarities, at least the custom engine will use C++ as its programming language. So for this part, I would say Unreal has the upper hand because even if the studio you apply to doesn't use Unreal, it will be easy for you to adapt to their custom engine because it is similar to Unreal. Plus, knowing C++ is always an advantage when getting a game development job because C++ is the best suited programming language for game development. And lastly, we have non-game applications. Things like architecture, commercials, even simulations are created with Unity and Unreal Engine. And believe it or not, a lot of people, even game developers are wanted for these positions. The reason why I'm bringing this up is it can be a source of income while you're creating your game. Because as you know, we need to live, eat and pay our bills. And if you're working on your game for five years, then you'll not have any money to live, eat and pay your bills. But if something in these fields catches your eye, you can apply for those positions, get a job and work on your game in your spare time. And for this part, I would have to give the upper hand to Unreal Engine simply because of how detailed you can make things, which is a must, especially in fields like architecture. Even movie scenes are created in Unreal Engine because of the high quality and detail you can pull out of it. This is not to say you can do the same things with Unity, you can, but it will not reach the level of Unreal Engine. This is where the 3D graphics dominance of Unreal Engine shines. And there you have it, a detailed analysis of all important parts you should take into consideration when choosing a game engine. And whichever you choose, you can learn how to use it as a professional inside my Game Dev Pro. Link is in the description below. Hit the like, subscribe and all the usual stuff and uh, I will see you guys in the next video.